Uh, okay friends, today we are going to see how to download, install and use WK HTML2 PDF on Windows. So let's go to Google and then uh, Google search WK HTML2 PDF. Then after click the first uh, the first site, which is the home page of WK HTML2 Windows. Mm. Then click the download. Downloads. Click downloads. Uh, after clicking downloads, then you go. You go. And if you are using Windows, because it's for Windows, you you click here where there is seven Z archive. So if you're using sixty four bytes, you click sixty four bit. If you're using thirty two bit, you just click that. So if it's a uh, Windows ten or Windows eleven or Windows eight, this is what you're supposed to use. So then wait for the for the download to complete so it's on until the download completes uh, it's complete so click the download after clicking the download this will pop up then yeah uh, just uh just close this win this window uh, tab just close it close it doesn't matter then after click on the wkhtml to pdf directory after that go on and click on the extract two files click on this do this extract two files because we are going to extract our we are going to extract our files into the local disk c then click local disk c so that the file will be extracted on this local disk c that's where you so our wkhtml2 pdf so hold on for a few minutes for a few seconds until the extraction is done so let's hold on uh extraction started extracting from wkhtml to PDF to the local disk C. So let's hold on. Uh, so we are done with the instruction. So go on your local disk C. Open the local disk C as you see here. Yeah, open local disk C. And so after uh, once it's open, click uh, click WKHTML to X, which is the WH, which is the, which is the WHTML to PDF, and then click on the bin directory. So after that, go on and click and copy the path. Copy this path. Copy the path. Click there and copy the path. So that's the path you're copying, and yeah, then yeah, go on and search for edit. ENV, which is the edit the environment variables. You edit ENV environment variables for your account. Then open it. So click the environment variables. Then you yeah, click path. Click path. After clicking path, then click edit, and then click new. So here paste the environment variable the path we copied from the environment from the local disk C. So click OK. Then you close it and you are done with the uh, installing. So there we are done with the installing the WKHTML2 PDF and now to use WK to use WHTML to PDF, I've already created a blog post about this and a YouTube video about it. So, link is in the description and here on the screen. You can either choose to watch this YouTube video or to <coughs> read the blog post. However, it will be beneficial to read and also watch the YouTube video. Also, the source code is in included in this. Uh, <coughs> in this blog post I was uh, I was using it into within a real world project. So here here what you see on the screen this is where we use the WX the, the WHTML to PDF. So it's better to watch it. It will be more valuable. And if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe and share. Oh uh, that's it. Next time. Bye bye.